Okay, we'll work through a scenario that I'm sure happens quite often in most homes across America. It's the husband installing a window in the living room over this uh, fine piece of carpeting uh, and not using a drop sheet. He's using uh, the standard uh, expanding foam and lo and behold he accidentally gets some on the carpet. Normally this would be a throw at the carpet immediately, uh, but with remove, which is non-staining, a fast spray and we can see it already actively dissolving the product and a wipe and we'll do one more spray and then we can just begin to work it down into the bottom of the carpet making sure we're getting around all the foam and usually a telltale sign that the product's completely gone is when we don't see it transfer to a white sheet and I think we're just about there right now and once dry, we've saved the carpet and possibly a marriage. As many have tried to do, removing silicone off a surface is almost impossible. You can do this, take your razor blade and cut away, cut away, cut away, cut away. No matter how much force you use, it'll still be there because the silicone's actually embedded into the, sil into the glass. So at this point, a little bit of remove, take your scraper, and what the remove actually does is it actually penetrates beneath the silicone and breaks the bond. We'll do this. We'll take a cloth. As you can hear, we have a, now a clean surface. I can actually feel just a bit of silicone left there. We'll do it one more time. Take your scraper. That's it. It's all gone now. You now have a perfectly clean surface. We'll do a short demo here to show you exactly how Remove uh, works on um, sticky messes, uh, tapes, uh, sealants, caulks, uh, liquid nails, polyurethanes, tar, uh, gum and carpets. Uh, but a, a pretty effective little test is we'll take standard duct tape and we're working off just uh, white paper, uh, inkjet, Nothing, uh, nothing special and to ensure we get good adhesion down on the paper I'll just rub it down with our little wiper and put another piece on the other side and we'll wipe this one down as well now remove is a bond breaker it is not a solvent it attaches itself uh, around the adhesive and releases the adhesive but doesn't dissolve it. And typically if you had this kind of mess, as you can see we're getting some paper tear, uh, fairly significant. And this is pretty much what you'd expect to happen with a strong adhesive tape. But to show you how remove works, we'll just miss the back of the tape. You can see the outline of the tape here. And we'll just wait a minute and as you can see the tape falls right off. Now the interesting thing here is, is that it's non-staining, the ink isn't running so once that dries it won't even show a watermark and our tape as the remove is evaporating off of it we can see the adhesive coming back and in a few minutes we'd be able to reuse the tape because the adhesive is still on it.